Hello my little butterflies, it's me, Fandom Angel, and sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, um, I've actually been having a rough few months, um, so with all of what's going on in the world currently, um, obviously some companies have been closing, and uh, various other things, um, but I won't get into that, uh, I actually was laid off my, my job, um, and so... I've been dealing with that. Um, I have. I was diagnosed with depression um, two years ago, and because I lost my um, job, I lost my insurance, and I haven't been able to see my therapist or counselor um, in well over a month now. And so it's been it's been a little rough. Um, but I'm still taking my medication correctly, so I, I'm doing fine. Um, I've just been kind of not all here, uh, but I'm doing better now. Um, my friends have been helping me and everything like that. And anyways, but I won't go on with that. Um, but so I have decided to forget everything I've done before um, and start completely fresh with, and I'm going to. I always wanted to find something that I was passionate about, that I just caught my attention and I just wanted to do it. Um, and I needed something that I would stick to. Um, none of the, I, I'm not a good challenge person. Um, I've only posted videos of Cass and then the other videos I've posted I lost footage for and couldn't continue. But, um, so, I don't know if you guys have heard of this little thing called, uh, it, it, the app is called Webtoons, um, and I will link, uh, this down below, but there is a comic on there that I felt, I wanted to read it for the longest time, and I just, I just kept putting it off and putting it off, and then I kind of just stopped going on to the app for a long time. Well, my friend, um... Mira Ray, she did a cast video creating the main characters from this um, series. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll go ahead and read it. Finally, I went and read it, and I finished the comic in like two days. Um, <laughs> and there was there, there's a lot of uh, chapters uh, when I started reading it. I think it was like a it was like 83 or something at the time. And, um, and, and I finished it in two days. And <laughs> it, it, let's just say it was really good. And so basically what it is, is, I don't know if you guys have heard of, um, it's, it's Greek mythology, basically. It's called Lore Olympus. And it's about the story of Hades and Persephone. Um, Hades, the god of the underworld, and then Persephone, the goddess of spring, and their story. Um, and I'm not gonna give anything away. Uh, it's actually on a break right now. This, this, this season two is gonna come out in August. But I loved them, and I just, I've been wanting to do something. Like, they're just so m amazing. And so I decided to look up some challenges, and I really wasn't looking for anything um, that screamed, you know, Lower Olympus or anything. But I, I was going through my list of challenges for one of my friends. Um, she had asked because I have, I have a list of challenges that I I reference a lot, and then I found there was one called Greek mythology and I looked at it and I really didn't like it. it it was it was just not what I thought you know I didn't I didn't like the storyline that it had going and so it just it didn't fit um and then I scrolled a little farther and there was one called Persephone Underworld and instantly I thought of Lord Olympus and my mind just started putting this together and as I read the challenge um, I fell in love with it and I'm going to attempt to do it um, I'm not gonna say that I'm going to succeed but I'm going to try 
and we're gonna see how it works. Um, this video, I guess I should say this, I haven't even said this, this one is about Hades, so, um, you, I have on here a picture of Hades, and I didn't have this when I was doing it, where it is, I had it off to the side, but I'm, I put it on here so you guys could see what I was doing, what I was using um, to create him. And I did have to download a, a height mod, um, which I will see if I can get it linked down below as well, um, because the height difference is a significant thing between Persephone and Hades in the comic. Um, he is like really tall and she's like really tiny. Um, <laughs> and so I had to, I had, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't not do it. I had to do it. And I'm actually really proud of how they turned out. I have made, I had made these characters prior on my old computer, but, and I thought they looked really good, but I wanted to record it and I didn't get a chance to record them when I made them originally. So I did really like them. But I wanted to record it, and then I wanted to share it with you guys. And so, I was like, you know what? And I had already started the challenge, and I, I, I liked it. I liked the way it started. Excuse me. And so, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this as a series and see how it goes. And so, I'm, I'm going to try, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, so, basically, this challenge is you're going to go through... Um, some of the Greek mythology um, stories. And so I'll go ahead and read you the excerpt. It's Persephone's Underworld Challenge. And I'm reading this off of um, the actual creator's um, blog, which I will link in the description below. Um, and this was posted on July 2017. So this is, it's not that old, but it's, it's fairly... So the person wrote, um, ever since a young age, I have been in love with Greek mythology. Therefore, I have created my own Sims 4 challenge, which revolves around the myths and stories of Greek gods, similar to the legacy challenge. This challenge involves five generations, no cheats or mods allowed. During the challenge, you can live in any neighborhood and you do not have to remain on one lot. The challenge rules are as follows. Okay, so I am not going to completely follow the rules. I do like my uh, cheats and mods. I can't help it. I have to. It's just who I am. I can't play without them now. I fully blame Mirror Ray for that, even though I love the girl. I do. But she's got me addicted and I can't stop. It's too late for me. Um, and so, I will be using cheats and mods in this. I mean, you know, it, and it's not big cheats and mods, it's just, you know, enough to, uh, know that I'm actually doing it. And so, so, Generation 1 is Persephone and Hades, um, and I'll go ahead and read their story. Um, I probably won't read all of the other ones, I might read what they're about, um, like who they're about, um... But I won't read their stories until we get to their generation. And so, um, yeah. All right, here we go. Generation 1, Persephone and Hades. The Greek goddess Persephone was the child of Demeter, the goddess of Earth's fertility and harvest, and Zeus, the king of all Olympians. Demeter was very nurturing mother and cared as much for her daughter as she did the Earth. Persephone lived a happy, joyful childhood under the, under the loving care of her mother. Persephone loved the outdoors and loved playing in the gardens of Olympus. One day, after gaining her father's permission, Hades kidnaps Persephone from the gardens and brings her to the underworld, where he makes her his queen. Demeter is destroyed by her daughter's fate, and it, with her grief, the earth began to decay. The meadows became blackened and barren. Rivers shriveled up and lakes froze over. As a result, Zeus demands that Hades return Persephone to her mother. However, unable to part with his, from his beloved queen, he tricks her into eating six pomegranate seeds. 
Anyone who eats or drinks anything from the underworld is trapped there for the rest of eternity. However, Zeus, being the king of Olympia, demands that Hades release her from the underworld as she had been so wrongly deceived. A deal was struck between Zeus and Hades. For every seed that Persephone had eaten, she would spend a month with Hades in the underworld. Thus, for half a year she would stay with her mother, and the other half she would remain by Hades' side. According to Greek mythology, this is how the seasons were formed. During the six months that Persephone was with her mother, the meadows were lush and green, trees were tall and sturdy, and very rarely rained spring and summer. When Persephone remained with Hades, Earth experienced a dark and cold period with no growth, autumn and winter. This challenge begins with the creation of two Sims, Persephone and Hades, as young adults. Hades must have the romantic trait and the soulmate aspiration. Persephone must have the loves outdoors and the gardener aspiration. Persephone must graph a pomegranate and a death flower. Persephone and Hades must complete both their aspirations. When creating the two sims, they, ha they must have the roommate relationship. You must make Persephone and Hades into enemies first. Once they become enemies, you may then build their relationship until they fall in love and get married. Persephone may only leave the house three days a week. They may only have a maximum of three children. The youngest must be named Eurydice. The challenge ends when their youngest child becomes a young adult. Um, and then generation two is Orpheus and Eurydice. And then generation three is Venus and Adonis. Um, challenge four or sorry generation four is cupid and psyche and then generation five sorry scrolling on my phone is pygmalion and Gal i'm gonna have a hard time saying this <laughs> and so i might have to look it up and see what it, how how to say it but it's uh galatea get get tap gal Galatia. If any of you know how to say this, please put it in the description below. I would love to know that, but I probably will Google it after this. Um, <laughs> so that is all of them. Um, and honestly, I love it. I, this challenge, I'm so excited about it. I, it's only five generations, which I think is a good place for me to start. Um, and so it's not like, you know, the 10 generations that all other challenges have. So it makes me feel a little more comfortable doing it. Um, but yeah, so um, back to this video, which I know I've been talking this whole time about the challenge and I haven't told you anything about what's going on. Um, this is King this is Hades, King of Underworld. Um, I tried to get him as close to the comic as I could. Um, and I I, I mean I tried. <laughs> um, I, th I think he looks pretty close. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to make your own decision on that. Um, I mean like I said, there's picture the pictures of him are right there next to him. Uh, and so you can decide if he actually looks like him or not. Um, but that's just my opinion. I think I did actually pretty good. So, and I'm pr I'm not really good at cast sometimes, and so I'm really proud of how he turned out. Um, and the next, uh, I do have I have a separate video of Persephone. I couldn't fit them both in one video um, because I didn't want to cut out a lot, and so I just. Um, separate them into two videos and so i will get persephone's video as I, out as fast as i can um i do have to edit it um but hopefully i'll get it out quickly so that you guys won't have to wait too long and then we can start the challenge um i do have one question for you guys um so i was like i was reading the story we have demeter um her mother 
and then um, Zeus, which I won't have Zeus on in it. Honestly, he um, his story is a bit more um, crazier than I want to go into. But um, let me know in the description, in the comment section below. Do you think I should create Demeter as well? Um, or not because I'm not really sh I, you don't need to it's more of a story purpose thing um oh gosh sorry uh storm just started uh I I'm 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 hesitating so uh, I'll let you guys let me know what you think if you think that I should add Demeter or not um but basically Hades he is in the comic he is a businessman he he's the king of the underworld he's also zeus's brother um i do not condone incest at all um but as a lot of people know um in greek mythology incest was very um rapid um i mean everybody yeah um i'm not gonna go into that but so in the comic, um, her, the, the author's name is Rachel Smith. She's amazing. Um, she has basically made it to where Zeus is not her father. She really doesn't explain it, um, but Ze Zeus is not her father. So, <laughs> it's not weird. Uh, but Zeus, he doesn't... Okay, there's just a lot of things. I, I can't go into it all. I'll, I'll, I don't want to tell you everything that happens. But Hades is a businessman. Um, obviously, he is the king of the underworld. So, But he he's very broken. He has a bad history. And Persephone comes in. She, he, Hades is 2,000 years old. And... Persephone comes in as a little 19-year-old college girl who has lived on Earth her entire life. Um, she has been under her mother's thumb and in her mother's shadow for her entire life, and she just is tired of it. So she um, she decides, her mother decides to let her go to college in Olympus, and um, so she gets to go there. And at a party, something happens, and she ends up, <laughs> we'll give a, all of it away, but she, just something happens, and they end up meeting, and eventually, you know, they just kind of get closer and closer, and things happen. They're the cutest little things I have ever seen. Just so you know, Persephone and Hades' relationship in the comic is so well done. And, um... Like I said, the first season just ended, um, like, within the last month or so. Um, so, um, I'm desperate for season two to start, like, now. Um, sadly, it's not, and so that might be another reason why I'm doing this challenge a little bit, because I need my Persephone and Hades fix. My Lord Olympus fix. So, but basically, Hades, he is, deep down, he is a sweetheart. Um, and he honestly, my interpretation of it, he really loves Persephone. He, he tries, he doesn't want to hurt her. He doesn't want to bring her into his um, long and very confusing history. Um, he wants to protect her as much as he can. Um, Persephone has had some situations in the comic that have been difficult, um, which I might touch on eventually, not now. Um, but I relate to her a lot, um, and so I, I just love Persephone so much. She's just so cute and adorable and so little, and I just love her, and I just want to squeeze her little cheekies and just love on her. Um, but as you can see, Hades in the comic is blue. Um, Persephone is actually pink in the comic. Um, Rachel has um, given every single Greek 
god and goddess um, their own color to go by. Um, and so it's very interesting seeing like what they are and why they might be that color. And so, uh, and what story purpose it actually does have. Um, but basically, I'm, you're seeing Hades in a lot more modern clothes because Olympus is set kind of modern day. Um, and so they have cell phones and cars and TVs and all of this. And, um, but when you go to, when they go to Earth, um, to see the humans, the people are all, you know, they're not pink or purple. They're actually normal. They're like us. Um, they're vi very diverse and their skin colors and stuff. And then, um, but they're set in ancient times like you would think that normal normally like Greek mythology Olympus is portrayed and so it's really interesting to see the difference and then when the Greek gods and stuff go to earth for their jobs they have to dress as if they're mortals and so it's really crazy so the they change their skin colors from their blue and purple and all of that to be able to fit in. They don't want them, to, obviously, to know that they're god and goddesses. And so it's it's really crazy. But um, I just love it. It's just, just amazing. And I'm sure you guys can tell that I'm passionate about this. But we're actually coming to the end of the video. Um, and we're going to be showing off my uh, outfits. But I just wanted to say thank you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next Persephone video um, so fly high my little butterflies Thank you.